Similar to land, barren land, no rain, then rain falls down, then the land brings out its fruits and vegetations and plants, and then it goes to the max, and you think you got it made, then leaves start to fall, plants start to look yellow, dry out, crushed hay, blown in the wind, gone. That's life. That's the life that we are working so hard for and not planning for our future. For our next life, the real life, if someone tells you you have no life, believe it especially if you're not doing for the real life. If someone tells you, go get a life, go get a life. If you are not involved in something that really makes you earn that real life in the hereafter. It's one of the two. Either permanent happiness or permanent misery. There's nothing in between. But that's not my topic. My topic is you, children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in one of the verses that I started with and repeated many times. He said, Al-Malu wal Banoon, Zinatul Hayat al-Dunya. 
Money and children are the glamour of this life. Money and children. We created, we love money, and we are created, we love children. Why we love money? Because it helps us get a real life, a good life. And why we love children? Because we need help. That's why we cannot say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has children because he doesn't need help. I need help. I have my children. Children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwaja in Surah al nahr Wa ja'ala lakum min azwajikum banina wa hafada. Hafada yani Linguistically, what hafada means, someone who rushes fast to serve you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He gave you a spouse created from you. And from that spouse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you children to help you, who rush fast and serve you when you need help. So you students are created to take care of your parents. You're created to rush to serve your parents, not your parents serving you. Yeah, of course, basic taking care of you, that is responsibility for the parents. But when you get to a level where you can help, you're supposed to help the parents, not you. You get the water for the parents, not the parents get the water for you. You turn the light on, not the parents turn it on for you. You clean your room, not the parents come and clean your room, and such. So you are a glamour to the parents because you are a source of happiness and a source of help. Don't turn it around and make your parents servant to you. Tomorrow you will have children and you expect the same thing. And if you don't take care of your parents, your children will not take care of you. Tit for tat, as they say. You do good, you get good. You do bad, you get bad, and this is life. And that's a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Hal jaza'ul ihsan illa al ihsan. What's the recompense of good but good? I'm going to tell you this story titled, If You Cannot raise my head if you cannot make me proud of you don't be a reason to humiliate me if you cannot raise my head high don't lower it who is this a father telling his son he has a son like you goes to school he likes to look cute, so he starts drawing on the walls and messing up the walls in the school. The principal called his parents. You know, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Some of you did that. Some of you did that. In the bathroom, on your desk, how many people write on the desk? That's a shame. You don't do that. No one gives you something clean and you return it dirty. No one, someone, no one gives you something full and you return it empty. If someone gives you a gift in a plate, you don't return the plate empty and you say thank you. You think of something to put in the plate to show appreciation. If you are sitting on a clean desk, you keep it clean. So this boy did not do that. So the principal called the parent, and the parent came, and he told him the story. The father was embarrassed, because this is not how he raised his child. This is not what he told his child. You know, a lot of times, people blame your teacher or the parents for something they never really taught you it. 
They never tell you to do bad. They never tell you to break the rules or the laws or not listen. But some people choose to do that. But who is to be blamed usually in the sight of people? It's your teacher, it's your mom, it's your dad, it's the school that you came from. But in reality, it's not. So the father was humiliated. But he's a wise dad. Everybody was expecting the dad to go crazy against the son and humiliate him in front of people because he humiliated his dad, but the dad is wise. He wants to pass a message to you and to me and to his son. So he told the principal, here is the money, the cost to repaint. And he went to his son and he he went to his son and he said, Son, if you cannot make me proud of you, don't be a reason of humiliation to me. If you don't want to help me, if you don't want to appreciate what I'm doing to you, at least don't do bad against me. People are going to look at me, not you, and say, look, what kind of parents he has? What did they teach him? How come they did not raise him properly? And that's what people do. I know people that when they see someone driving bad, you know what they do? They cuss and curse the school that gave them the driver's license or taught them and made them pass to get the driver's license. They did not teach him this way, but he chose to do that way. But unfortunately, people do that. So my message to you, Islamic school of Urban, boys and girls, be a reason to make your parents proud of you. Be a reason that when people see you and see your manners, to say, MashaAllah, his parents really took care of them. His parents or her parents really raised them good. And that's what you will get. This is a high level of good treatment to your parents, what we call Birr al If you want to be good to your parents, let people see how good you are so they can praise their parents instead of cussing your parents or saying negative things about your parents. So yes, al-mal wal-banoon, zinatul hayat al-dunya. Money and children, the glamour of this life. So make sure you keep it this way and be a glamour to your parents, inshallah, in this life and in the hereafter.